Hi, welcome to Mama Stations and Mamosas. I'm founder Kiara Anye. Hi, I'm Heather Robinson. I'm Marie. So today's topic is life as a working mom. Um, we all know that being a mom is a full-time job. Like, first of all, how long did you guys stay on maternity leave before going back to work? So for me, I, for both children, I stay out of work for two years for each kid. Girl. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. I stayed out of work my whole 90 days. I stayed out three months. I stayed out three months as well. Um, but with my first child, I worked all the way up until, mm -hmm. like, my due date. So, I stopped work on Thursday, mm -hmm. um, and then Saturday, my son came. Same for me. Um, with okay. Zaire, I was, like, over my job, and I was like, <laughs> listen, I'm not putting myself in this. So, my doctor was like, okay, well, you can start maternity leave, and I was like, fine, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. um, and I started my maternity <laughs> leave early. Um, I think I started in the beginning of July. He came at the end of July, and then I stayed out August, September, and I went back to work in October. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was up until eight days before I had Kai, mm -hmm. and then I stayed out an entire three months. I went back, I think it was like two days after my birthday or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I stayed out for an entire three months. But in between there, because we don't get paid for maternity leave, I had saved a bunch of money to pay mm -hmm. my rent. My baby father paid my bills while I was out, so... It had it, it, it was a strategy to figure out yeah. how I was going to be able to stay out. But yes. after a while, I was like bored out of my mind. Like, I'm going nuts. I need to go back to work. I agree with that. So, my um, experience with that is that with Tyree, I worked like my entire maternity leave was paid. Mm -hmm. I had so much time banked up because I've been with my last job I was with them for 11 years so I had so much vacation sick and all of my time put together that I actually had enough time to go back um uh, like I could have stayed on maternity leave for another mm -hmm. whole month and I still would have had time left yeah. but I chose to go back only because it was right in between I went back in August and it was right between school like summer camp and then in school starting yes. mm -hmm. and I felt like I can go and take half days mm -hmm. until school starts and then once school starts then I'll start my full time so I kind of weaned myself back yes. into the mm -hmm. working world with Zaire I felt comfortable because Thomas and I had two different schedules so it was like okay well you know I can leave him home with mm -hmm. dad and still be comfortable I was able to come home from like on my on my break come mm -hmm. home nurse Zaire and then go back to work so it was still like that I was spending my break time yeah like, home that. and then my job was right around the corner from my house so it was like you know I was comfortable with them so I don't know um but my next question is like how do you guys feel like working takes away from like do you or do you guys feel like working takes away from being a point your time away from your children definitely mm -hmm. um my energy your energy oh my goodness so you know I'll, for you guys that don't know i'm a school bus driver so i wake up at 4 45 every morning and i actually work two jobs and i go to the gym so when i get home I'm around sure. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so when i get home around six o'clock if my fiance isn't home i have to make sure that i'm cooking dinner helping with homework getting bad so my older one my older son he can do all this by himself but my younger daughter giving her a bath, make sure she's in bed on time, um, cleaning if the house needs to be cleaned, whatever. So I'm in bed maybe nine o'clock. So that gives me maybe an hour for my kids, but then I'm tired. So my daughter wants to play and she's only three. And I'm just like, no, it's not happening. And I feel bad, but I can't because I literally don't have energy. Right. So I do feel like that I know she wants to play. I know she wants to engage. She wants to go to the park. She wants to do this. She wants to do that, which we do do on the weekends. Mm -hmm. But during the week, I just, yeah, I, I can't, I, I feel bad. So with me, um, so I work, um, work as a coach for DHS. So mm -hmm. I, um, my schedule is flexible mm -hmm. within the sense that like, if I needed to, had an emergency and I needed to stay home, I'm able to do that. Or if I needed to go to work earlier so that mm -hmm. I can get off earlier, I'm able to do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
But ideally, like, I get off at 6 p.m. Yeah. So my children are already home from school. Mm -hmm. um, Tyree has homework and stuff like that. He has clubs and he has mm -hmm. sports and all these extracurricular activities. And it's just like, I still have to come home and be like come home and be mom yes. and for me with my old job like I worked with children I was a site director and I worked with children so yes. my energy for my own children was kind of going so that's mm -hmm. one of the other reasons why I knew like it was time mm -hmm. for me to move yes. on from that job because mm -hmm. it was like I cannot come home I can't do with other people's children all day all and then day. come home and not have like that energy to that's give to my, my own children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um like now I can like even working at that job, I kind of had like the same work schedule, so it's like we pre we're already prepared for it. It's mm -hmm. already a system in the schedule, um, but it's also still that like okay, you come home from work, you still have to travel when you get off. Come yes. home from work, you have to excuse me, do homework, mm -hmm. cook, clean, yes. spend time with your children, then pre prep them for bed, and then I still have to make sure I'm spending time with my husband. Yep, I forgot. So it's that. just like. <laughs> By the time all of that is done, I'm like drained. Yes. And it's just like, we don't think about like how much effort goes into being a mom. Mm -hmm. Or even like on our days where homework's Friday, homework doesn't have to be done mm -hmm. or whatever. There's still your house from the chaos from oh, Monday through great. Thursday <laughs> that you have to put up with. And then if you have stuff for Saturday playing, like yes. again, my kids, they have that. stuff to do. Mm -hmm. You still have to prep for that. Mm -hmm. So it was like, listen, sometimes you just want to wind down literally. Yes. And then <laughs> with a <laughs> tall glass <laughs> or a bottle. And like, it's like really, really draining. But it's like, what are you, what do you do when like, First of all, like on my maternity leave, I was getting bored. So I yes. know like being a stay at home mom is not for me. It's the worst. It's not for me it. unless I made it to you. I made it. My unless like, like you never have never. Like you have a business. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I can dibble and dabble into that business. Yeah, you get as, out for right a as mm -hmm. I as I need it to. But for me to like just stay home and like cook clean, be I, that's not for me. So mm -hmm. I had to find a job that like I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. And obviously children are my passion, but at the same time, it's like I need to still be able to like separate the two so that when I come home, this is still like my safe place. And that's mm -hmm. like my children feel like this is their safe place too. Mm -hmm. So that was like, that's the perfect balance for me. I don't feel like that when I come home. Girl, I just recently started working two jobs again, and it's so different from when I wasn't a mom. Because mm -hmm. before, I would just work my two jobs, <laughs> change my clothes, yeah. go out to the bar, wherever <laughs> I'm going, go home, get four or five hours of sleep, and then add it down. It's so much different because now I feel I sort of kind of feel guilty. Like I only see my son maybe five or six hours a day. Mm -hmm. Every day I'm like speeding through the traffic so that I can get more time to like spend with him. And I, for me, it's just like. I guess because he's always spent time with my parents. My parents take turns watching him. So he's really comfortable being yeah. with them. So when I'm going, he doesn't really pay it any mind that I'm That's doing. But for me, it's like, I miss you. You probably don't miss me, but I miss you. So I like find myself trying to like get home fast to spend time with him. And even when I'm home, like how you said, you're really tired. You don't have any... I don't have any energy. Like my first job, I work at a mental hospital. Oh, God. And they so all... Have they all have mental disabilities and they're all there because they keep they committed some type of sexual or inappropriate act. So I literally spent all day talking to these grown men like they children. You gotta hold their hand, you gotta get in the shower, you have to wash up, you can't go outside without rolls on, you need socks on. So I spent all day like coaching these men on how to get themselves together to like get throughout the day. So once I leave there and then go to my second job mm -hmm. where I gotta pretty much pamper these yeah. people, make sure that everything goes right with they meal and go home to my son. It's like, oh, it's all over again. I got to coach you. Yes. Those yes. Steps the steps. I got to yes. keep you from doing backflips off the bed. I got to make sure you get into the tub without drowning. It's like, oh, my God. I want to have a glass of wine. But because I'm not a morning person and I have to be up at 6, once, even if we're settled by, like, 9 o'clock and he's running around, it's like, I want to have a glass of wine. It's like, by the time I have a glass of wine, it's time to go to bed. Yes. So it's like, never mind. Let's just go to sleep. Like, let's just go to bed. It's so much, which is one of the reasons why I don't know if I'm going to keep working both jobs it's okay. just saying because i do enjoy my first yeah. job so. and that's the, that's the thing about being a mom we gotta make so many sacrifices. Yeah. Plenty of sacrifices so do you guys think that like if you had the option right in a perfect world if you had the option to have whatever schedule you wanted and still do the job you want which schedule do you guys prefer 
So I'm in the like crossroads right here. Um, I, I think I'm a different kind of mom than everybody else. I, and I hate to say this, but I don't enjoy being a mom as much as other people do. Like I love going to work. Mm -hmm. I love being at work. It's just the way my kids are. So you would think I have a 10 year old and I have a three year old boy and girl. You would think that it would be easy because they wouldn't really want to be bothered with each other. Right. One does their own thing. No, they like to mess with each other all day. So as soon as I get home, they see each other. Oh, hi, I missed you. And the next thing you know, Mama, they're yelling Mama, and screaming, fighting. Me. She's yes. touching me. So then I'll tell them, okay, well, one of you guys are upstairs. One of you guys are downstairs. So then I go take my shower while the food is on the, in the oven, whatever. All in the bathroom. Stop. Why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? He hit me. You know, when you're in the bathroom, you don't want nobody to bother you. <laughs> Mom, I swear every five minutes. And it's from the time I walk in the house all the way until it's time for them to go to bed. Wow. So, and sometimes, you know, my fiance might not be there. So it's just Hi. me and the kid. Like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's my two year old. <laughs> so I don't really enjoy being home. Now when there's one of them, mm -hmm. I'm I'm fine. Mm -hmm. We can sit down, we watch like um cooking shows together. I'll have my daughter cook with me. Mm -hmm. Whatever. We have fun if it's just them two. I'm mean, one if it's just one. But when it's both of them, I hate They're it. They're at each other. I hate it. So I feel bad because I prefer being at work. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know how you would. I don't yeah. So I honestly prefer the schedule, like an early schedule. So mm -hmm. my schedule would be like, ideally I work 10 to 6. Mm -hmm. um, but the way my job is around, I sort of kind of really work 9 to 5. Okay. Um, and I guess I prefer that because that still allows me to like, take my kid to school mm -hmm. and dad picks them up or my mom will pick them up from school. Mm -hmm. They have that like free play time after mm -hmm. school. So it's not like come straight home and do homework. Yes. But then when I come home, I'm able to like sit them down at the kitchen table, cook dinner mm -hmm. at the same time and then help them with their homework, help them study and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm able to like still have the rest of my day to myself. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I prefer like nine to five. Okay. Yeah, I prefer nine to five, but I only work one job where you yeah. work two. <laughs> so, in, in my perfect world, I'm definitely an 11 to seven mom. Okay, you like the morning. I, for the life of me, I've only been working this new job three months. I've probably had three brain aneurysms in the last year. <laughs> I don't know how people go to work doing first shift. But yeah, I can't ever, ever, ever. It's time you out. perfectly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if it was one of those things where I could like, drive to the regional rail and know that I can get on the yes, train the same time true. every day mm -hmm. and go back and forth, I would, but it's it funny because most crazy. people who I work with, they like drive to the nearest train station and mm -hmm. they catch the train mm -hmm. because we work downtown, right? Yeah. So parking one is really expensive. Mm -hmm. Um the closest lot to us is thirty dollars, right? So imagine driving every single day to mm -hmm. park. So most people like get a trans pass yes. mm -hmm. and they like where I the getting on the bus or getting on the train gives me anxiety. Like and I, I used to be able I to train I used to be able to do it. There's so much stuff going on now. I haven't been on a bus or a train in a year. So it would like freak me out. And although I wanna save that coin, yeah. for the life <laughs> of me, I cannot. Like mm -hmm. And there's even, like, people who live close to me who would, like, get on the train and go and they meet up. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. I'll see, see you here. <laughs> like, nope. I feel like as a mom, I want to be, if my son's school calls and say, hey, he had an emergency, come here. I don't want to have to leave here, get on the train or get yes. on the bus to go to my car, then go. Like, I want to be thing. able to jump in my car and go to wherever that is. And I think that they... they but realistically, the same amount of time it's going to take you to get to your car and come down with me. Um, I'm trying to think like any more questions around this topic that like maybe the viewers will want to know about like being a working mom. Um, so, okay. I did both. So my question to you is why wouldn't you want to be a stay at home mom? You too. I just want to know. I know what your answer is, but I want them to hear why you wouldn't. <laughs> so to be honest, I don't think that I wouldn't want to be a stay at home mm -hmm. mom. And I tell my husband all the time, if I had one more kid, then I would be a stay at home mm -hmm. mom. But I feel like well, if we have another kid, because I really want a daughter, mm -hmm. if we have another kid, I would, we would have to, I would have to be in a position to like spoiled mom would have to be booming, but I would also need a business outside of spoiled mom. Yes. So 
if I'm home, I would have two things to focus on besides being a mother and a wife. So I, it's not that I didn't enjoy it. I just was bored because the, at the time I didn't have spoiled mom. At the time, I didn't have any other businesses. I wasn't in school. All my friends were at work. So it just was like, hmm, and the baby. me and this baby, Waiting for that. let's go to lunch. Yeah. Me and this baby, like, let's go to brunch. Like, it, it was that kind of thing. Let's go to the mall. Let's go shopping. And I was like, well, I'm spending more money yeah. than, you know, I don't have it. Technically, I don't have an income. Although, again, like with TJ, it was totally like I was receiving my full checks. Yeah. With Zaire, I, was, I received my full check for the first six weeks and okay. then those last two weeks I didn't like okay. I, I received half of the check so um you know I technically I wouldn't mind it I just would have to set myself up to be a stay at home okay you ready I don't want to stay at home <laughs> I know what my house looks like I don't need to be here all day it drives me crazy it's no. not for me so I would never be able to be a stay at home mom for one I enjoy drinking I don't want to drink in the comfort of my own home, but outside of it, I'm a sociable person. I don't like to be confined mm -hmm. in a house by myself. I don't really care to talk on the phone. I work at a job where the phone rings all day long. That drives mm -hmm. me nuts. It irritates me for my phone to ring. But outside of that, I feel like people need to be needed. So when you sit at home, you sort of kind of wither away. The same thing with old mm -hmm. people when they stop working and they sit at home, you wither away. I feel like that's how people become 400 pounds because you're sitting at home. You don't really have too much to do besides eat. I mean, granted, you have your kids to look after, but then they'll get in the habit of just sitting around and eating or just watching TV, and you, you find yourself not being as active as you once were. Mm -hmm. So for me, I already feel like I'm overweight, so I need to <laughs> keep moving as much as I can. It doesn't help that my second job is a food service job, yeah. so I eat all day long yeah. while I'm there, but yes, I, I wouldn't want to be a stay-at-home mom. Kai wants me to. Yeah, he feels but, like we should get a nanny, but that's mm -hmm. not for me. Like things are working, mom. <laughs> you guys can comment below about how you feel about working um, as a mother or whether you prefer to stay at home and just tell us your experience about being a working mom or being a stay at home mom. Yes, if y'all got any good sleeping tips, just let us know because <laughs> sleep while you drive. <laughs> Ridiculous. Girl. Bye, guys.